thank you so much for your love, your kindness, your mercy, your grace. You are so amazing, God. And we just want to thank you. We want to love you. And we want to do everything we can to worship you and bless you, God. Everyone needs compassion, a love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of a savior. Let hope of nations. Savior, he can move a mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. Author of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Take me as you find me. Just abandon and feel my life again. I give my life to follow everything I believe in. Now I surrender. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save forever. All through of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Shine your light, shine your light and let the whole world see, singing for the glory of the risen King. Jesus, shine your light and let the whole world see, singing for your glory of your King. Savior. He can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. Jesus mighty to save forever. All through of salvation, he rose and conquered the grave. Conquered the grave. Savior, he can move the mountains. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Ever author of salvation. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Mighty to save. He is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Mighty to save. All right, isn't he good? The king of my heart be 
the mountain where I run, the fountain I drink from, oh, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the shadow where I hide, the ransom for my life, oh, he is my song. You are good, good. You are good, good, oh, you are good, good, oh, you are good, good. Let the king of my heart be the wind inside myself, the anchor of my ways. Oh, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the fire inside my veins, the echo of my days. Oh, he is my song. You are good, good. Oh, you are good, good. Oh, you are good. Tell. He's never gonna let you down. He's never gonna let, he's never gonna let me down. He's never gonna let, he's never gonna let me down. Tell him he's not gonna let them down. He's never gonna let, he's never gonna let you down. He's never gonna let, he's never gonna let you down. Tell it again. He's never gonna let. He's never gonna let you down. He's never gonna let, he's never gonna let you down. You are good, good. Oh, you are good, good. Oh, you are good, good. Oh, you are good.
Amen. God bless you, everybody. You know, uh, all the times of God are perfect. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because um, uh, we just finished up singing, he's never going to let you down. Right. And guess what? We got, we got, we're going to have the proving here with this book. I don't know how much are you believing. I don't know how, what you have put in here. But I guess it takes something. You know, you have to believe the guy's going to do it. He's never going to let you down. Amen. There's some stuff that I put in here that only God can do. I can only do so much. Amen. How much are you believing in God? There's nothing impossible for him. Amen. Uh, living proof. We're right here. We're worshiping. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, is anybody got a testimony? Come on now. I know everybody's got some testimonies. Come on, sister. Man, this is this is amazing. Amen. This is God never letting us down. As some of y'all may know, uh, I've got what they call non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And a year ago, I was told that I had stage four, which was some cirrhosis. And I come up here and had uh, David Norton pray for me that Wednesday night. And I went to the doctor the next day. And they done a fibro scan and said that it's at stage three. And said she'd never seen that but one other time. And I told her that's what I'm believing for. Complete healing. And I've got, I got a letter in the mail because she had said she wanted to do an ultrasound to you know, make sure. But I got a letter in the mail stating that it is a stage three. And I'm praising God for it. And it's going to be completely healed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know, we need the testimonies. Because what she's going through, it can be other sickness that you're going through. But you can know and rest that God is good. Amen. Amen. He's never going to let you down. Whatever, whatever you're suffering, if you just come and say, Lord, it's on you. I surrender to you. I accept you as my Savior. Do what you have to do in my body. If you can restart it now, I know you're going to restart it. <laughs> Amen. Is anybody else? Got some good news. Amen. The, amen. A couple of weekends ago, a couple of Sundays ago, um, Joyce and I were talking, and the subject of grandchildren was brought up. And um, I have a bunch of grandchildren in Texas, and um, their, uh, their mother has decided that I'm not allowed to see, Kenny and I are not allowed to see them. And I've prayed about it and prayed about it. Uh, but the Sunday that Joyce and I were speaking, uh, she suggested that I write it down in the book. So I come in here that morning and, and wrote it down. And um, that was on Sunday. Then Tuesday night, um, I received a message. Uh, there's another grandchild that's older than the other five that's in Texas. And we've never even been allowed to know him. He didn't even know that we existed. And uh, his mother sent me a message Tuesday night and told me that he had been asking a lot of questions about his dad and his dad's family. And um, so she explained to him where his daddy was at and what was going on. But she also told him about us. And to some that may not that may not mean anything, but to me, you know, I wrote that in the book about the other grandchildren, and to me, this is just like an extra bonus. Um, I believe that God is 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 going to allow me to to be able to know my other grandchild, and and so I praise God for that. You know, it's not as big a miracle as as a healing in health. But if you have grandchildren, you understand your love for them. And not being allowed to know them is, is a really hard thing. So praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Did somebody raise his hand? 
All right. Well, I'm telling you, uh, I'm going to be uh, honest with you. I really don't want to know your business, but I do want to know God's business. Amen? Amen. If he can do it for you, he can do it for me. Hi, everybody. I mean, this is not much of a testimony, but I just want to say I came last Sunday. I really enjoyed the service. And this morning when I woke up, well, actually, I've had a really busy weekend, and I was exhausted. I did not want to get up. But I rolled over, and the Lord just wouldn't let me sleep. So I got up, and I got dressed. Y'all, I got down to my car. It wouldn't start. I said, now, Lord... He was like, I'm just playing. So I, <laughs> I did. I, I don't know what I did, but I mashed the brakes. I mashed the gas a few times. I crunk it up, and it started for me. So it was meant for me to be here, and I just want to say that I really, really, really enjoy the service here, and I thank God for being here. Thank y'all for welcoming me. See, there's, there is no coincidence. God don't do things randomly. Amen. That, and I'm proof of that. Uh, Many years, many years later, and here I am. Amen. So prepare for what God has got for you, you know, and uh, be willing to take the call from God. Amen. Amen. So we're going to sing one more song. And, and if you believe in God on something that you say, man, this is too tough for me. Well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you about my God. There's nothing impossible for God. Amen. If you believe, you can have it. And uh, the purpose of the book is, uh, we call it the book of miracles, but also it's going to be the book of testimonies. Because you write down what you believe in God. What other people tell you that it's impossible for God, ain't nothing impossible. So you just find you a page if you haven't done it. Or if you already got your page, add on to it. God doesn't care. You know, it's like a good father. He don't care how much we ask him. Amen. He hasn't gave me my video game, but I'm waiting, still waiting. <laughs> Amen. Just joking. I believe God for more than just video games. Amen. So don't, don't, don't lose it. You know, believe in God. He never is going to let you down. So come and write it down. We, like I said, during our worship, we can come and write down what you believe in God for. You know, doctors can say one thing, but my God. Amen. So I'm going to invite my sister to come and pray over the book. And, uh, you know, believe in God. There's nothing impossible for him. Amen. God bless you. Praise God. Hallelujah. We just thank God for who he is. We thank God for our faith. Because we know that when we have the faith, when we believe, the word tells us that he's going to make it happen. I don't believe that it's a coincidence that you couldn't sleep this morning. God has something for you. And I'm just believing that that stage three is going to move to one and all the way until you heal. Because he says to believe in him and believe in his word. And in his word, he says that you were already healed by his stripes. So we believe that it was already done. We believe that healing has already taken place on the inside of you because your faith has healed you. We believe that everything that's written in this book right here that is already done, I believe that God is working on it. He's working in your favor with them grandchildren. I just truly believe that God is doing a big thing this year. I just believe that God is just working in our favor. As we continue to do and be obedient to him, God is going to work some things out. So I just advise anyone that if you haven't written in this book, you don't have to be a member here. But if you haven't written in this book, put it in this book because we're believing by faith that it is so. We know that we serve a God that's not in a box. Lord, I thank you. I thank you that every prayer that's in this book, God, I thank you that it's already done, God. I thank you for everyone who has written down for their children to be delivered, God. I believe that it's already done. Lord God, I believe that the healing that has been asked for you to do in this book, God, I believe that it's already done, Lord. 
Lord, I thank you that everything that's in this book, God, that is already done, Father. Our faith says it is already done, God. Lord, your word says that when two or more are gathered, that you are in the midst, Father. So we bring your word back into remembrance to you, Father God, because your word says that it cannot lie. Your word says that it will not return back to you void, God. So we stand here on your word, God. We stand here to believe by faith that everything that is in this book is already done, Lord. We believe that it is so, God. We believe that it don't even take much for us to believe it, God. But we believe that one little small piece of faith, God, that it is so already, God. Lord God, I thank you that anyone that have any doubts, God, that is disintegrated right now in the name of Jesus, Father, and that you give them the faith of a mustard seed, God, to believe that their healing has taken place, God, to believe that their deliverance has taken place, God, to believe, Father God, that their mind is clear, Father, so they can think of things that are good and pleasing and whole for God. God. Think of things that are on you, God. Oh, God, I thank you, Father God, that you're doing a great work in this place, God. I thank you that you touch our pastors on today, God, and you let your will be done, God. Father, you know every will, God. You know every way, God. You know everything, Father God. And you says to just cast all our cares onto you, God. And you said that you will do it for us, God. We know that you will make the impossible possible, God. We know that there's nothing impossible for you, Father. And so, Father God, we're thanking you in advance, God, that it's already done. We thank you for peace, God. We thank you for joy, God. And we thank you for your love. And we thank you. And we invite your Holy Spirit into this place today to hover around us and to dwell in the people, oh God. Let your will be done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Lord, I come, I confess, bowing here, I find my rest. Without you, I fall apart, you're the one that guides my heart. I need you, oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. My one defense, my righteousness, oh God. deep your grace is more where grace is found is where you are and where you are Lord I am free is Christ in me Lord, I need you, oh, I need you, every hour I need you, my own defense, my righteousness, oh God, how I need you, I need you. Lord, I need you, oh, I need you, every hour I need you, my own defense, my righteousness, oh God, how I need
So teach my soul to rise to you. When temptation comes my way, when I cannot stand, I'll fall on you. Jesus, you're my hope and stay. So teach my song to rise to you. When temptation comes my way, when I cannot stand, I'll fall on you. Jesus, you're my hope and stay. Jesus, Jesus, you're my hope and stay. Jesus, you're my hope and stay. Yeah. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour, I need you. My own defense, my righteousness. How I need you, need you, oh, I need you, every hour, I need you, my own defense, my righteousness, oh, God, how I need it up again. Lord, I need you. Oh, I So good.